Hello everyone, welcome to another video tutorial for Hammer. In this particular tutorial, we're going to look at how you can use Hammer to conduct bridge inspections. So if you're not already familiar with Hammer, Hammer is a, is a flight automation solution for commercial drones that allows you to capture the best possible data by automating your flights. So let's jump right in. So at the moment, I've got my map centered on a bridge already. Uh, but I can always change my map location by simply tapping on the map button over there uh, and then tap, tapping on search and then selecting an area. So in this particular example, we're going to do an inspection in, in New York. In fact, we're going to do the inspection uh, in, on top of the Brooklyn Bridge in New York. So essentially, once you've selected your location for the map, you can essentially uh, <clears throat> tap and zoom into the map for the asset you want to inspect. Um, and once you've got it centered, uh, you can essentially create a bridge inspection for your specific requirements using the number of different types of missions that are offered by Hammer. Now, this tutorial assumes that you've already watched some of our tutorials on, on how to do uh, facade mapping and facade inspections with Hammer, as well as uh, the top-down uh, 3D modeling and mapping flights with Hammer or linear inspections with Hammer. Um, and if you watch some of them, then this tutorial should be pretty straightforward because it essentially combines the knowledge from some of those tutorials. So once you've got the map centered, what you then need to do is you need to select a specific type of mission. To do that, tap on the new, uh, new mission button over there which will give you a selection of all the different types of mission plans that are available in Hammer. So to start with, we're going to look at linear mapping for this, for this specific type of mission because a bridge is a linear structure and you can use linear mapping to get a very quick idea of, uh, of, your, of, of, of the bridge. So let's tap on the linear mapping module and once we tap on that module, we see Hammer asks us to draw a linear path and then to tap OK. So I'm going to just zoom into my bridge and depending on the way I want to do this inspection, I'm going to draw, draw out a linear path. So if I want the drone to essentially just follow the profile of the bridge, I will essentially tap on the bridge and create a path following the geometry of the bridge. But once I tap OK, you will see that Hammer has created um, a flight path from the start to the end um, following the geometry that you specified. Now, this is not an ordinary flight path. What would also happen with a linear mapping is that as the drone flies through, it will take pictures at a certain interval to maintain the overlap. Uh, we can also see the altitude that this flight will be conducted at. It's at 50 meters at the moment. But you can always select the gear icon and open the settings for this specific mission. Once you open the settings, you can see the mission type is linear mapping, and you can see that the heading mode at the moment is the direction of travel. Uh, we can obviously change the heading mode to uh, as per waypoint heading uh, or towards a specific camera point. But to keep things simple, we're going to keep this at the direction of travel for the moment. You can change the camera type. You can also change the altitude at which you wish to fly at. So if you want to do this inspection at 30 meters, we can essentially just drag the altitude bar to 30 meters. We, we can also change the orientation uh, for the drone. Uh, obviously, at the moment, since the heading mode is set to direction of travel, changing the orientation doesn't do much. But if you were to change the heading mode to as per waypoint heading, then we can change the drone orientation and what you'll notice is that the markers, the waypoints, actually change the orientation when I change the orientation of the drone. Now this might be useful if you want to fly in a certain way and orient the drone in another way um, for, um, for the camera to get the best possible shot. Um, let's keep that at 50 degrees, 54 degrees for the moment. You can adjust the gimbal pitch and you can adjust the image overlap. Um, but once you've sort of set up your, your mission, you can essentially simulate it by tapping the play button over here. So you tap the play button and you can create a simulated drone by picking a location on the map. So if I just uh, simulate the takeoff from this point here, I'll be able to see what the drone will do. It will fly off to the point, it will give me the field of view and it will take pictures as it goes along the bridge. Now this is a very quick an easy way of setting up a linear inspection uh, or linear mapping in Hammer if that's how you choose to do your bridge inspection. 
uh, it might be that you in fact don't want to do a linear inspection and you rather want to create a 3D model whereby you want to get lots of images of the bridge. Um, if that's the case, you can get rid of this flight plan by tapping the wand icon and then tapping the bin and you can choose a different flight plan instead. So if you just go into the missions menu and you pick the 3D modeling flight plan. So I can tap on the 3D modeling flight plan and now I can create uh, by drawing a polygon over the bridge um, we can draw essentially a 3D mapping flight plan. So essentially a 3D grid that will capture that part of the bridge. Obviously you could extend this to all the way all the way to the end of the bridge if you wanted to capture the entire bridge uh, but the idea is that you can choose the flight plan based on your specific task so let's say we want to now configure the properties of this of this flight plan we know it's a 3d modeling mission we can choose the camera type we're flying with so if you're flying with a zen moose x4s you can choose that or if you're doing this with a mavic pro 2 you can choose that as well and as you choose a different camera type you will notice that the you will notice that the flight profile changes. Uh, it gets denser, uh, or it gets, uh, or it gets uh, sparser, and that's got to do with the field of view of the camera. But all of that is actually taken into account for you, and you can essentially just pick the camera you want to work with, as opposed to worrying too much about the focal length, the horizontal field of view, and all the different parameters that come with cameras these days. So once you've got the 3D modeling mission configured, and you can learn more about the different parameters in a 3D modeling mission by going to our 3D modeling tutorial. You can then simulate the flight plan as well. You can uh, you can see what where the drone will take off, how it's going to fly, and what type of pictures it will take. Um, and you can you can also monitor things like how many batteries will it take, how many pictures uh, will be collected, and that's if you're doing a 3D modeling flight plan. Now let's say you want to actually do a 3D modeling flight plan, but you also want to inspect the facades of the bridge, the sides of the bridge. Uh, for that particular purpose, what you can do is you can save this flight plan into, uh, into a mission file. So if I tap, um, so just to go over that again, if I, if I tap, uh, if I uh, sort of tap this folder icon here, uh, it, will, it will show you a mission file and save that with, with, with a particular name. I've already got the save before I started this tutorial but essentially all you have to do is open the folder and you'll see a flight plan has been saved for you. Now you can also create a new flight plan which I've created here and you can give it a different name. So let's say we call this bridge facade and um, this is essentially a file. So it's a file that's just saved on disk on your mobile tablet that has the profile of the flight plan that you're going to fly. So what you can then do is you can open this bridge facade inspection by simply tapping on it and currently it's empty. There is no flight plan in this mission file. But you can add a flight plan into the mission file by simply selecting the missions menu and then selecting the facade mapping or facade inspection. Let's go for facade inspection in this particular tutorial. So once I selected that module, Hammer asks me to draw a line on the structure's edges or fly to capture. So that means that I need to be able to mark the edge of the structure for the facade inspection. So what I do then is I go and tap away the facade of the bridge as closely as possible. And um, let's say that's the part of the, of the facade of the bridge we are interested in. Once I've done that, I tap on the OK button and Hammer will generate a flight plan. Now by default, the flight plan is facing into the bridge, but we might actually want to inspect the bridge from the outside. So what you can do is tap on the settings menu and scroll all the way down to rotate points. You tap on the rotate points and that will rotate the bridge uh, angle for you, the, uh, the points Ang point of view, the angle of the of the view for you. So that's how you can set up a facade inspection to capture the sides of the bridge. Now, obviously, there's a lot of parameters involved in facade inspections, which is essentially the top altitude, bottom altitude, uh, how much distance you want to keep to the bridge, which will govern how close or far you are from the bridge, and they will affect 
again, a lot of different parameters in flight. But the point is that you can set up a facade inspection very easily as well. And you can save that into a different mission file. Once again, if you want to learn more about these parameters that are specific to facade inspection for bridges, we would recommend checking out our tutorial on facade inspections. That particular one is, um, is oriented towards facades for buildings, but the same principle applies for facades of bridges or any other structure that you might want to inspect. So once I press done and I press play again, you can you can restart the mission and you can see what the drone will do in flight, which is essentially going left to right um, and um, capturing the data that way. So essentially left to right and top to bottom. And that's how you would do a standard facade inspection because what you're really interested in here is to fly left to right and top to down in 3D, almost in a flipped vertical plane, as opposed to flying top down and capturing the ortho photos uh, in, in a, an idea view. Um, I can pause this flight, I can go back to my missions folder, and I can see that I have the bridge facade saved separately to bridge inspections. If I switch between them, I can switch between the 3D model and the facade. And you will see that Hammer very seamlessly switches between the two, two different types of missions and uh, allows you to fly those missions either separately or, in fact, you could fly those missions together as well by simply switching to the new mission in flight and pressing play. So that's how you can collect both the top-down as well as the side or the facade viewpoint for the bridge. Uh, there might be a scenario where you want to do a really radically different unorthodox flight plan. And we've got a solution for that as well. Um, let me just create a new mission file. And let's call this bridge free flight or um, any kind of different type of flight plan. What you can then do is you can go into the flight planning menu or the missions menu and you can select the linear inspection option. If I select the linear inspection option, Hammer is going to ask me to draw a linear flight path. And with this option, I can essentially select, uh, I can create any kind of flight route I might want uh, and uh, press OK. And what Hammer is going to do is going to generate points within the points you've created to take photos at. So you know, it could be a very different type of a flight plan. It could be you know this particular shape. It could be any other shape you want. Uh, and you can combine that with a facade inspection at the same time. So you could do a top down and then you could switch to uh, a facade inspection mid-flight. Again, it gives you complete control on how you want to do this because every bridge is different and your flying circumstances or the environment might be very different. So let me go back to that free flight flight plan. And once you've got that, you can essentially press play. You can press start and how I will fly that flight plan and take pictures at every blue point that you see uh, in this specific mission. Um, it's also going to make sure that it actually maintains its specific orientation for every single part of the flight plan. Um, ensuring that you have perfect data as you fly. So that's how you can do a free flight flight plan. So with the different options available to you, whether it's the facade, whether it's the top-down 3D model, or whether it's the free flight, Hammer allows you to capture the data in the best possible way for your specific mission. And as we know, collecting the data in the best possible way yields to the best possible results. So. This is a very quick and easy tutorial that we have constructed to demonstrate how you can use different types of flight plans for bridge inspections in Hammer. But to really learn how to use each one of these effectively, we recommend once again checking out some of our tutorials on each one of these specific cases and using them for your, your, your use case. Um, there are also a number of other settings in Hammer. For instance, if you go into the top down, uh, the bottom right uh, wrench over here, you can adjust the maximum drone speed and you can adjust a lot of the safety settings for Hammer. You can also geofence your flight and you can, you can set up a lot of actions in terms of what to do in an emergency scenario where the drone runs low on battery or uh, there's a connection loss between the remote controller and the drone. Obviously, all these scenarios and how to handle them effectively, once again, have been covered in our tutorials um, that have been recorded before for each specific type of mission. So we recommend checking them out. Um, and that's it. This is a very quick and easy tutorial 
for constructing different types of flight plans in Hammer. And really, we wanted to demonstrate how easy it is for you to be able to construct different types of flight plans and simulate what the drone will do in flight so that you can be much more prepared for your for your flight before you, you go to the field uh, with a flight plan on hand and a way to collect the best possible data. We hope this was useful. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach us at team at hammermissions.com. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.